If you're looking for a case that'll keep your sunglasses safe while you're on the move, you've come to the right place. How's it going y'all? My name is Richard and I've been testing a handful of great carry options for your precious shades. So let's go ahead and take a look. When you get a new pair of sunglasses or even prescription, they're usually gonna come with a case. A lot of times it's something like this. This is a nice folding case. It's made out of real leather, it's lined, but it's not crush proof and it does allow debris to get in on the side. Uh, so pet hairs, dust, anything like that. It's not the most protective thing in the world. Another version is the microfiber bag. These are cool because you can kind of clean your glasses with them, but other than dust, this isn't going to protect from anything. Whether you're traveling, commuting, or just EDCing a pair of sunglasses, you can't count on cases like this to keep them safe. So I've found a few great options that are going to give you that peace of mind while you're on the move. Let's get into it. This is the Pelican 1030, and it's safe to say that this case is bomb proof. I love this case, I've been using it for years. We all know Pelican from their camera cases, the military uses them. A lot of different industries trust Pelican with their equipment, so you can bet that your sunglasses are gonna be good in here. This is a polycarbonate case with a clamshell opening. The bottom here is lined with a high density foam, which is nice, but I wouldn't call it pillowy. So whenever I'm using this, I wrap my glasses in a large cleaning cloth to put in here, just so they're not wiggling around too much. It adds a little protection. The case does come with a carabiner attached to the side, which could be nice in a pinch if you need to throw this onto a bag in a hurry, but we can all be honest and say it's not the most aesthetically pleasing thing to have a big sunglasses case swinging left to right off the side of your backpack or your sling. If you need to throw an extra pair of sunglasses into a checked bag, or maybe deep into a backpack, or maybe you're going to a war zone with a one of a kind pair of Jacques Marie Maj sunglasses, I don't know what you're up to. This will protect your sunglasses. But with all that protection comes a little bit of bulk. This is a large case. So if you're running a sling or a messenger, this might take up a little too much real estate for that. At around $25, it's hard to beat the value of this Pelican 1030. Next up is the Magpul DACA can. This is the original DACA can. I've had this for a while. It's pretty tough, but I would usually go for the Pelican over this because while they're similar in size, this one's a little bit smaller. The Pelican's more secure and I trust it a little bit more than this original DACA can. But while prepping for this review, I noticed Magpul put out a 2.0 version of the DACA can. So here we have it. This is the Magpul DACA can 2.0 and this thing is a tank. Everything that was okay about the original has been improved upon, if not perfected in the 2.0. The DACA can is a top loading polycarbonate case. I love this top loading design because when you're on the move, if you pack your bag right, you can get glasses in and out of a case without having to pull the whole case out, which sounds trivial, but trust me, it's awesome. There are a couple noticeable improvements between these two versions. On the original, it only requires a little bit of force to open, and this has opened on me in my bag without me doing so, which is a little concerning. The closure on the 2.0 is much more solid. I have no concerns about this opening in my bag. Another quick thing is the hinges. The hinge is a little more protruded on the original can, while this one is a little more integrated. Aesthetically, it's nice, but functionally, it's not a big difference. Another big improvement between the original and the 2.0 is just the overall build quality. You can feel and hear the difference between these two. It's still really rugged, but this one is just almost indestructible. It's, it's really tough. The 2.0 comes lined with a high density foam that's similar to the Pelican case. For sunglasses though, I do prefer the original lining. It's a felt material that's just going to be a little more protective for lenses and frames. I love to see and support a brand who's willing to recognize some room for improvement with a product and then go ahead and make those improvements. So cheers to Magpul for knocking this out of the park. And if you're feeling celebratory, you could probably pour a drink in here and use it as a cup if you needed to. I don't know, whatever you want to do. Night Eyes, it's a brand known for gear ties, S-hooks, carabiners, and of course their waterproof runoff pouches. This is their Clip Case Hard Shell XL Optics Case. And like its name, it's pretty large. This clip case is a top loading design. So similar to the Magpul, you can get glasses in and out of a bag without having to pull the whole case out, which is really nice. The namesake clip case comes from this big clip on the back. 
Uh, theoretically, you could use this to clip to backpack straps or a harness. Um, you could attach it to your belt if you're going for that Dadcore 2000s phone case kind of look, uh, which I haven't done yet, but maybe one day. The best part about this case is a little hidden surprise. Inside, Night Eyes has sewn a long cleaning cloth to take care of your glasses when you need to. Um, it's, it's super convenient. It's a great idea. Cleaning cloths for me are like allergy medication. I never have one when I need it and I always need it when I don't have it. So this is a, a welcome surprise on the clip case. To me, this feels like a specialty product. Maybe you have really large aviators or maybe you work on a job site, you need safety glasses and you have to take them on and off throughout the day and keep them accessible. For that, it would be great. But for your everyday user, this case might not be the best option. It's a little bigger than you would need it to be for the given protection. It's not totally crush proof. I think if Night Eyes were to make a medium version of this rather than the XL, it would be much more universal. To round out the selection today, we got the EDTC from our friends at Prometheus Design Works. This is a 600D nylon multi-purpose case that's designed to carry EDC items. Um, sorry, I think I'm going colorblind. I'm 98% sure that this is a sage green, maybe a little more desaturated than the jacket I'm wearing. Um, it's a nice looking case. It's got this rubber logo on the front, uh, but it's designed to carry EDC items, hence the name. It comes with these foam dividers where you could put a watch or a knife or a multi-tool, um, but lucky for us in our sunglasses, we can pop these out. Once you pop them out, you see this nice orange lining here. Um, and then it becomes a great sunglasses case. This case would be great for someone with a little bit more of a minimalist ideology when it comes to carry. It has a smaller footprint. It's still crush resistant, but it's gonna take up less space in a sling or a small messenger. This case is a great example of how a progressive carry focused brand can take a product that's not so exciting, you know, a sunglasses case, they've been around. They added some nice design to it. They pop a little rubber logo on there. They add some functionality with these dividers and they make it new again. Um, so I applaud Prometheus Design Works for that and I am all for it. All right, hopefully this helped you narrow down some options for your sunglasses carry. If you give one of these a try or maybe you got your own solution, let us know about it in the comments. Uh, this is YouTube. You know the deal. Hit us with a like, a subscribe. Ring the bell icon so that you know when we're putting out new content. And I really appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.